Just look at the thing, okay? I can, again, give you the painstaking detail, and I, and I will, but look at them all on the hill here. You, you know, they're, you can't really mistake them for much of anything. Now, if we were teaching other juniperus, other members of this genus, then we'd have to look a lot more hard, but we're not, okay? This is the only juniperus you're getting. This is our native one. Its species name is Virginiana, so it, it better be common. Okay, we're in Virginia, so and it is. So they have a very, very dense, tight bunch of branches that you can't really even see through these things, right? That one there, it's it's a wreck. I don't know why that one's like that. <laughs> but none of the others on this entire hill are like open like that. It's having a bad hair day. That's a whole lifetime. I don't know why it looks like that. But this is more normal. You know, every now and then genetics, right? Something's going on with that one. So you want to just look at that first. Like, wow, that's got to be a junior. They tend to have a very columnar shape, sometimes a little more narrow, sometimes a little more chubby, right? But kind of a big tier shape to column shape. They have a, once they get a little older, they develop a foliage known as mature foliage where you can't really even tell where the leaf ends and the twig starts because each little leaf is a tiny little scale. Just send that around. Literally like scales on a snake. They are just flat down on it. That one's a little different, okay? When they're younger, they produce juvenile foliage, which is this stuff, and it's called that because when they germinate from a seed, They'll only have that. And that's got like quarter inch to maybe half inch needles. And then it'll turn into that scale like foliage. Even a mature tree will tend to have some of this around somewhere. But it'll have less and less as they grow a little slower. So that's juvenile foliage. And the other scale like foliage is the what's called mature foliage. Okay, so you'll tend to have both of those. There's male and female trees. So females have these little cones. That is a cone. They're often known as juniper berries because this is juniperus, right? Not eastern red cedar berries. And they're not berries at all, they're cones. Uh, but juniper berries, if you smell those, it's a very, very, very strong conifer, piney, smell and those are used to flavor gin so when you hear people say I hate gin it tastes like pine needles you ever heard that mm -hmm. now you can say well actually Bill it tastes like juniper berries lots of live branches all the way to the ground which makes its wood very unique you may know its wood that cedar chests are made out of this lots of little trinkets are like little jewelry box that says Natural Bridge, Virginia on it. You know, when you go to these gift stores, there's always these little trinkets. Uh, and with those branches, they all have a lot of little knots all through the wood, right? But they're alive, the branches. So the knots are called tight notch knots. They don't fall out. And so they're kind of famous for that, the wood structure. And it's, the wood is red and white, kind of streaky, <coughs> streaky like that.